Did you know that today is National DNA Day? And why is that even important to you? Well, in this video, I'm going to share some really exciting information with you that I learned about a few years ago, and it totally changed my life. Learning about your genes, your genetics, your epigenetics, and how your genes function can really help you take control of your health. So welcome uh, to Living a Longevity Lifestyle Live. My name is Mike Chavez, and I love coming and doing live videos where I talk about all the things that you can do to live a life full of vitality and live a nice, long life of longevity. So in a couple of minutes here, I'm going to grab some really cool things. But first, I want to tell you a little bit about my journey, my DNA journey, so to speak. So in 2018, I was morbidly obese. I was sick. Uh, on the precipice of uh, type 2 diabetes, I was morbidly obese, and I was really struggling with my health. Can you relate? Do you know anybody? Well, in today's world, 80% of Americans are struggling with metabolic disorders and so many other different health disorders. Uh, it's a combination of a myriad things that are causing it. Standard American diet, the recent times that we had, the pandemic, stress, so many different things have caused metabolic disorders among so many Americans. And taking control of your health has never been more important. So I was at that stage of my life in 2018 when I was approached by one of my friends who told me about an interesting way to look at your DNA and figure out what sort of genetic markers that you inherited from your mom and your dad and how you can take control of your health by reading DNA reports. Now, we know that we inherit things from our parents, right? We inherit hair color, eye color, mannerisms, traits of that sort, but also we inherit things that are associated with our health. For example, a lot of times, certain types of illnesses and diseases run in people's family. Like for me, uh, heart disease was very prevalent in my family. As a matter of fact, both of my grandfathers, my mom's dad and my dad's dad, they died of heart disease at a real young age, actually under the age of 60. So in 2018, um, when I was really in terrible shape, physically, emotionally, and mentally, uh, I was really excited to learn about this information that I'm going to share with you because come to find out that your genes don't have to be your destiny. Just because you may have inherited something or maybe some sort of health illnesses run in your family doesn't necessarily mean that has to be your destiny. There's a saying that says, you know, DNA is the gun and your lifestyle pulls the trigger. So it's never too late to make lifestyle changes for your health and knowing exactly what to do, having a blueprint, so to speak, something that shows you what you're made out of, what your body needs on a cellular level, a nutrition level exercise, weight management, how your body burns carbohydrates, how your body metabolizes fat. So many different things could be tested and learned about your DNA. Wouldn't that be cool to know all those things? Well, I got to tell you, it's radically and dramatically changed my life. So in a couple of seconds here, let me grab um, what my reports and I'll show you what they look like. Let me share my screen here. I'm going to grab my screen. And we're going to share one of my DNA reports here. All right, let me get rid of this here. All right. Okay, hold on a second. Come down here. Share my screen. Okay, now we're sharing my desktop. And there's four different reports that I actually got. The first report you can see here on your left it says it's a healthy aging report. Then there's a weight management report and then also a sports and fitness report. Now, what's really cool and also a skincare report. What's really cool about these reports is they go into so much detail about you. So let me just give you an example of what one of these looks like. We'll start with the healthy aging report. This is the one that I originally got. And it just basically goes over all of the things that come uh, in a DNA report. Let me, um, oh, let me expand this so I can read it better here. Oh, come on. 
I'm gonna expand this. All right. So what's really cool is it's, it explains epigenetics, lifestyle, and all that sort of thing. It talks about health span, your results, um, genes and nutrition, the peer-reviewed science, and it goes into more of uh, what the, how the DNA test can actually help you. So what is health span and why is it relevant? And in simplest terms, health span is the number of years that you're healthy. While modern medicine has extended our lifespan, the number of years that we've been able to live chronological age, which a majority of us start to have health problems, hasn't changed. So as we get older, we start to have health problems that, that hasn't changed. It's, it's all because of lifestyle. So it talks about the lifespan. If you see in the 1950s, our life expectancy was around 65. And then 2060, the average life expectancy is going to be around 75. But you can see that this graph here, when the health problems start to arise as we get a little bit older. So again, I was in my early uh, 50s, late 40s when I, I, I got all this done. Talks about the different um, difference between chronological age and biological age. Obviously, chronological, chronological age is going to be the number of years uh, since you've been born. And biological age is really what the, the holy grail of wellness is, if you think about it, because your biological age is how you really are, how you feel, right? So that's really important. And then it talks a lot about the science of telomeres and how cells actually work. So if you don't know anything about epigenetics and cells and telomeres and all that good stuff, these reports really show you a lot. It talks about genetic expression, how your genes express themselves based on your lifestyle choices, the nature versus nurture. Perhaps you've thought about a particular aspect of your life and wondered how much is really related to your genetic nature and how much is related to your environment. Uh, we can speak for everything, but when it comes down to aging and wellness, uh, your genes, they have an opinion. A longevity is only partially related to your genetics. The majority of your health span is dictated by how you live and what you do to nurture your own genetics. Again, that's what I was talking about at the top of the video. So action-based genetics, I mentioned that we inherit genes from both of our parents. The difference between an actionable gene and a non-actionable gene is... Um, a non-actionable gene is your hair color, your eye color, your mannerisms. Those things are never going to change. But what's interesting is the genes that are actionable, genes that we can take action on, are all related to our health. And that's what's really cool. And that's what this report shows. So a SNP is what they test for, and it's a single nucleotide polymorphism. And there are variants that are naturally occur in our genes and cause changes in their functions. Some SNPs determine characteristics such as hair and eye skin and color. Those are the ones that don't change. And other SNPs that we test for in these reports uh, have a functionality significance that affects our gene product. And therefore, you can tell how well your body performs on key functions that affect your health and your wellness. So it's really cool. It goes into a lot of detail. It talks about the report. It not only looks at the actionable genes uh, and where there is action you can take, if you have the variants or the SNPs, those genes in, in this report that identify them and those key actionable genes. And the rest of the uh, wellness plan identifies actions you can take in response to the report, which is really, really cool. Now, this sounds really high tech and it sounds like it'd be hard to read and hard to understand, but it really isn't. What's awesome is when you get these reports, it shows you how to read them. Uh, each gene panel that you have is identified with a color code that describes what you've got from both your parents. And so you have two sets of genes. You see the double helix, one side's your mom, one side's your dad, and that bar going across the middle, that's you. So what they do is both your parents give you half and half. And if you get a variant or you get something that's not uh, decoded properly for your genes, you get these markers and they're called the SNPs and that's what they test for. So the color coding is really cool. So if you didn't get a variant in a particular gene, they give you a green. If you got uh, a variant from one of your parents, they give you a yellow dot. You can see that here. And if you got the gene variant from both of your parents, they're going to give you a red dot. So it's really simple. Green means you're good to go. Yellow means you need to take a little caution. And red really means you need to stop and take a look. Now, interpreting results can be 
uh, not as hard as you might think because the, as detailed as this report is, it talks about the different types of genes that they test for. It talks about what the genes do. And then the lifestyle recommendations are going to blow your mind. So let me scroll down to my actual report. And this one, it says your personal genetic assessment results, analysis of our key actionable SNPs. Again, actionable means I could take action on these and make lifestyle changes. And these are the variants that I got. So I mentioned to you a couple of seconds ago that heart disease ran in my family. And I also mentioned that they color code these reports to show you what genes that you need to be concerned about. So on the left here, it has a scientific name. In the middle, it shows you the commonality and the function. And then on the right, it tells you the number of SNPs that you got or the number of variants that you got. So as we look at this list, the first thing that I looked at was the reds, because those are the ones I need to stop and take a look at and, and really understand what sort of things I need to be aware of. So I'll first look at my reds. The first one that I got is the APOB gene, which is the common functionality is healthy lipid support. The next one I got is healthy blood pressure. The next one I got is homocysteine heart health, which is the MT, MTRR gene, which is a very common gene variant. We could talk about that later. The next one is lipid oxidation support. So if you look at lipid oxidation support, homocysteine heart health, and healthy blood pressure, and healthy lipid support, those four genes all directly correlate to heart disease. So when I saw this report, I knew that this report was accurate. I knew that I needed to take action and I needed to really pay attention to this report. So as you scroll down, this is just a basic rundown of what the report looks like. And I can get you some more information uh, if after you see this video. But I just kind of wanted to show you how detailed these reports are so you can see how amazing they are and how far the, the technologies come. I mean, 20 years ago, they finally mapped out the human genome and it paved the way for so many different ways for us to take care of our health, right? So we're gonna go down here. And this is one of the coolest things about these reports. They just don't tell you, okay, you got this gene, what are you gonna do about it? What they do is they show you what you can do about it. So let me scroll down here and show you all the different genes. You can see there's so much information in here. Now here's the key genes and nutrition. It's such a correlation. All right, so the first one that I got was the APOB gene. And you can see right here, my result was high. So it's in red and this healthy LDL cholesterol gene or the APOB. It, so it says, this is a lifestyle recommendation. Limit omega-6 fatty acids, fried processed foods, some dairy products, hydrogenated oils and fats, such as margarine, soybean oil, vegetable oil, cottonseed oil, corn oil, canola oil. If it says partially hydrogenated, avoid it at all, at all, if all possible. And then it tells you what the gene is. This gene will help support a healthy heart by maintaining healthy cholesterol levels already in the normal range. So then it talks about why is this gene important? Cholesterol is carried through the metabolism, it's just carried through the bloodstream on various lipoproteins, that's the LDL, and the high density proteins, the HDL. Now, this ABOP bone is what regulates the main component of the LDL. In fact, without this gene, your levels won't stay the same. So then it goes into the dietary recommendations for this gene variant, which is really, really cool. It's supported by ingredients to help manage and production, help retain healthy cholesterol levels already in the normal range. And then it tells you the supplements, right? Green tea extract, grape skin, ex grape skin extract, pomegranate extract, artichoke extract. So then it goes into more detail. Now I'm gonna show you, here's more of the genes. There's 18 of them on this one report. I didn't get uh, I didn't get this variant, so it says low. So I got a green. I'm good to go. And then this one is a CRP, healthy inflammatory response, right? Moderate. It says avoid sugary foods, processed foods, uh, and foods with partially hydrogenated oils. Again, spice it up with turmeric. Turmeric is known to reduce inflammation. Ginger, cinnamon, and get a and then obviously it flavors your food as well. Hydrate half your weight in ounces of water daily and cut out the soda. So again, this is a yellow one that I got. So I need to really stop and take a look at it. Here's the other one, the CYP11B2 healthy blood pressure gene. This one's high. 
Dish the table salt. Avoid foods high sodium processed foods. When using salt or flavor, opt out sea salt or pink only sea salt or none at all. Decrease alcohol intake. Excessive alcohol intake can be dehydrating. See your healthcare provider regularly for blood work and blood pressure. So this is something I really got to take a look at. Blood pressure is really super important. Do you know how many people are on blood pressure medications? I'm 51 years old. I'm on no blood pressure. I'm on no medications at all, especially no blood pressure medications because I took these lifestyle recommendations. It tells you why the gene is important. Again, the dietary recommendations, magnesium, potassium, vitamin C, garlic powder, again, to support these gene variants. As I scroll down, detox, my detox gene is okay. So it says, based on my report, I'm at, uh, my risk for unhealthy detoxification is considered low, which is important, but I still gotta be careful, all right? Then it still gives you supplements and lifestyle recommendations to make sure that you stay healthy with them, all right? And here's the FTO gene, healthy weight management gene. Weight has always been an issue most of my life. I got a moderate one in there, eat more protein with each meal, less unhealthy fats, Mediterranean diet may be more beneficial for me. Again, it's going to give you some more supplements to support that gene that, gene that you may have gotten. And here's the FUT2 gene, vitamin B12, super important. Again, it's moderate, so I got to check it out. We're getting some more lifestyle recommendations, more supplement recommendations. And I keep scrolling down again. So it just goes through all these different genes and breaks things down for you and gives you lifestyle recommendations, which is truly incredible. This is the MTHR gene, super important. Methylation, it's so important. So many people have this gene right here and they're taking the wrong forms of, of B12, folic acid. It's it, just Google the MTHR gene and see how many people, I think it's like 50, 60% of people have this gene variant and they don't even know it. So for example, if you're taking the wrong kind of B12 that are in energy drinks, the cyanocobalamin energy drinks, it's the wrong type of B12, it could be toxic for you. So there's so much around that gene as well. And the MTTR gene is another one is, is specifically for the heart, how your, your heart metabolizes and, and um, your homocysteine level for your heart. Super, super important. Avoid high inflammatory foods, exercise. And then again, again, it's going to give me some more lifestyle recommendations. So one of the coolest things that I like about this report, again, it, it starts showing you all these different genes, lifestyle recommendations and supplements. You put the lifestyle recommendations together with proper supplementation. That's where the magic happens for ultimate health. So the question becomes, how do you figure out how much of these to take uh, when it comes to the supplementation? Well, what's really cool about this report, it formulates everything together at the end here. Let me scroll down to the bottom and show you one of the coolest things ever. Where did it go? All right. So what, what they do is they have the, how they come up with this information of all these genes that they've studied here. They're all peer-reviewed science. So these are all references and white paper studies where they show you the studies of why these lifestyle recommendations and why the supplements are recommending actually work because they're science-based, science okay? And so there's a, so many different peer-reviewed studies. Okay, let's see how many. There's 104. How many is there all together? 128. And again, your privacy is uh, number one paramount. It's basically like going to the doctor. Uh, this, this is HIPAA certified, so it's a federal crime to sell your DNA. So your DNA is safe when they do these tests. And let me get down to the bottom. You can see how much information is here. Now, this is one of the coolest things ever. A lot of times when you go, and well, just about every time, actually, when you go to the store to buy stuff, they'll have a supplement fact on the back. Uh, especially vitamins, and it shows you all the vitamins that are actually in your supplement. Well, here's the vitamins that they've supplemented for me. It has my name on it right here, and it gives you directions. So it has uh, how many carbs there are, all the different vitamins in there to the microgram. It shows all of them. And then they have all these different prebiotics that are in there. There's so many different ingredients. There's up to 80 different plant-based peer-reviewed ingredients that are supplemented just for you based on your DNA. And it's truly incredible. Now, if you look down here even further, it's going to show you the gene that you may have gotten, the variant that you've gotten. And then they're going to show you, remember I told you the AOPB blend, the green tea was something they wanted to put in there, pomegranate extract. 
they put it in there for you and they formulate it. So it takes the guesswork out of it. So you don't have to guess how much to take. For each gene, they're going to give you specific ingredients that are, have been peer-reviewed in studies to show that they will support these different types of gene variants. So there's nothing like it. There's up to 400,000 different formulas that they can come up with, which is truly, truly incredible. And it's amazing. It, it truly, truly is. Uh, this stuff, you know, if you were to go on Amazon, for example, and buy all of these different ingredients, you would you would have to spend around just mid mid range, right? Not the most expensive one, not the cheapest one, but for each of these ingredients, you'd be spending around seven hundred to eight hundred dollars, maybe even a thousand dollars a month on all of these different supplements that they put in there, and you don't even know how much you're supposed to take, and you're paying so much money for it. All of these supplements they 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 formulate from these reports are based on your genes and they're less than 200 bucks. It's truly incredible. So I just wanted to come and share this because it's so, so insightful and it's really changed my life in so many ways. Let me stop sharing my screen and I'll come back here. It's just changed my life in so many different ways, knowing all this information, taking these lifestyle recommendations, and it set me down the path of ultimate wellness. Without these reports, I never would have gone down these paths that I've gone down and learned all of the things that I've learned. And one of the coolest things about it too, is you just don't get a report. You just don't get vitamins sent to you. Uh, there's an incredible community of people to support. There's weekly calls where doctors are explaining these reports in more detail and help you really educate yourself and understand yourself. Listen, if you don't take control of your health, who is? Let's ask yourself, you know, that question. If you're not taking control of your health, who is taking control of your health? We, we all know we can't trust the government because the pharmaceutical industry and the FDA, the food industry, are all in cahoots with each other. So they make this food that's toxic, that makes us sick, then we got to then we got to take the drugs from the pharmaceutical companies, and it's just a never-ending cycle. So my goal is to live a life full of vitality, prescription-free. And it's doable. Uh, I've been through so much physically in my life. I've had so many different surgeries on my life. And I've been to the doctor so many different times in the past. And if I would have known all of the things that I know now, I could have avoided so much pain and misery and surgeries and medications and pharmaceuticals that, made, that frankly made me toxic. Of course, they have a place for them, right? And doctors are amazing. However, um, there's information that you can get a hold of today because it's DNA day, right? And these genes are all available for you to explore. And there's nothing like learning about you. And there's nothing like having a blueprint. Think about it for a second. We were never given a blueprint. We were never given a map. We were never saying, well, we should eat this or we should take these. If we're all different, why should we all be taking the same supplements? Why should we all be living the same type of lifestyle? It shouldn't be. Everybody likes things customized and individualized to them. And that's what this is all about. So I just want to come share this with you. I wish you a happy DNA day. If you want more information, I would love to get on the call with you and let you know how you can get this test done and introduce you to some of the doctors and wellness practitioners that are sharing this with the world, that are educating people and teaching people how to make lifestyle changes to live a healthy life of vitality and live a life full of longevity. Okay. So again, happy DNA day. I'll see you very soon with some more videos talking about how you can take control of your health today. Goodbye, everybody.